Let's go with that man, Shabu Crew. 1738. Right now, I'm going to play NBA 2K22. All right, I'm going to show you the best in the build. has 7 foot with 611 attributes. But before we get going, man, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe to my channel, man. I don't make a lot of credit bills. Well, not, I don't make a lot of glitch bills. I just make regular bills. But since I be finding them, I will show y'all. I, I might be late, too. But all you need to go to the uh, settings. And you go down until you get right here and make it the metric system. Go to the empty slot, don't really matter. Create a brand new build. High position, center of course. Hand don't really matter, be right or left. Jersey number don't really matter, it can be any number you want to choose. Height, okay, is that two, one, three? Okay, don't go anything lower, don't go to here. If you go here, go back to uh, two, one, three, and drop down to two, one, two. That's how you need to stop it. Don't go anything lower, it's not gonna give you that seven foot height. With 611 attribute, weight can be anything. It really don't matter right here. Wingspan don't matter. It can be anything right here. Body shit don't really matter. Then after that, you just, now you just go ahead and create the build how you wanna make your build. But I'm gonna go ahead and back out. I'm gonna show you how I made mines. Well, I don't got everybody doing it right here. So right, this, this is how I made mines right now. Height okay, like I said, two one two, weight hundred, wingspan. 2.36 body shape defined. I think it looked better this way to find body shape for a center. But maybe it's just me. You see, I got 25 finishing, 21 shooting, 18 playmaking, and 33 defense badges. Keep in mind, I got a 6 level attributes. Only thing I don't get is the um, badges 6 level players will get. I don't get those badges that they got. Well, I'm like, I got their attributes though. So it's just still kind of good as one. That's why I call that really a glitch. I mean, I also too, I can tweak the build how y'all want to do it. I just made it this way because I thought it'd be different and unique. And I made it how I play anyway. And you see on my build, I used to put standard dump. I put on my center and my power forward because I felt like when you a big man, you need to have that little standard dump sometimes. But I really don't think you really need it though still. You can really go without this, in my opinion. You really don't need standard dump. As long as you got a good layup game. You had that um fast twitch, you be good to go. You don't need none of that other stuff, man. Fast twitch all you need. Cause you don't got no good standing dunk. But you got standing dunk, it's good for you too. You see we can shoot a little bit. We got 75%, you know, 75 on the three point. That's good enough for me. I ain't tripping over that. Cause you know what I'm saying? You know your jump shot you can hit. I play on Hall of Fame with my darn 610 glitch build. Got six nine attributes. He go crazy. I only got like a 77 three ball. So it's only two it's only like um two down, two points down, so that ain't nothing to me. Free throw 70%. You can make that high if you want to. Just drop down like one of your vertical, your strength. But a playmaking game, I got 18. I don't need no more playmaking badges. I feel like for a semi, you kind of need bullet pass on silver because you got to jump on bronze or you don't got to jump at all. The pass be slower. Because sometimes your goal will kick it back to you or something. You want to kick it back real quick. You need bullet pass. You need that. I don't care what I say. But you see, I also got little dribble moves too, though, for my 6 11. I got dribble moves, handling for days, space creator, glue hand, you know, tight handles, triple threat move, unpluckable silver. So you know, I ain't getting picked like that. Let you know that now. Ball handle 65. That's, like, that's pretty good. I can make it pretty high into that, but I made my arms longer. That's why it's like 65. But that's good enough to get silver though. You don't need 65 to get silver, so you good to go. And I got quit first. There's a lot of centers don't have all this play making badges like this. I think it might be a different right here. Defense, I got 33 defense fences. I think I, I excel at this part because, you know, you see my interior defense 78. To me, honestly, you probably really don't need interior. I just put up to get them badges. And I also, you see, I got Hall of Fame Intimidator, Hall of Fame Box Out, Hall of Fame Chase Down, Hall of Fame Room Protector, Gold Rebounder, and Hustler, uh, Hustler Hall of Fame, Pogo Hall of Fame. I mean, it's straight. I mean, I like this build. I think this build is, I think this build is different. I think I'm going to use this. When I get my 610 better, when I get him down, I'm gonna go to this build next for season four. I think it's a new build everybody should be rocking with. Basically, you, you can play this build, you can play this build right here, the part, the pro am, whatever. The ante up, I mean, you take it to the comp stage, you know, really about this build can do it all. Cause no, it ain't no weakness. You can shoot, you can shoot. Even though your jump shot, you can shoot with it. Not even that. When you play on those stages, it's not on Hall of Fame level. So it's even like Superstar, probably even a rookie or pro. So you'd be good to go. We got a good insight against you. Everybody, you're not making it. I mean, you probably say I need more strength though. My physical, 
my strength really low, but you know what I mean? But I feel like you can balance out with the defense badges you got will help you with the dudes that got a lot of power and strength. You can be fun, you can be faster than them. Most of the time, they, they ain't shooting that good. And your vertical be better. Look, I got an 84 vertical. This build, and like, I, w I wouldn't let some stand because I'm not going to do all that dribbling anyway. I'm a center. I'm not I'm not like a guard or nothing, so I'm not going to go crazy with the dribble moves. That's why I think this build is really unique in this way. And I think I, and I got 99 block. I'm going to try to tell you that I got 99 block. So, I mean, I'm blocking everything. My wingspan almost maxed out. I'm just like one tick away from being maxed out. But I think this build gonna be crazy. I ain't really been playing with it yet, but I can tell about how this bad how the badges is. I'm gonna be good to go. And you know, I don't trip over that little bit of strength neither because once you get, you know, that takeover, not takeover, but you know, you get the gym rack and all that stuff. You just plus you get that plus four on all your physical choice, you know, you faster. And I got I, I got like less speed because I, I wanted that gold rebound chaser. I could have had like a seventy four, but I dropped my weight down. I mean I want my weight up. And get that gold rebound chaser. Even though I might not even use it like that, I wanted just to have just to have it when I get my badges. When I get my badge points and all that other stuff. But like I said earlier though, I can make the build how I want to make it. I can tweak stuff I want to do. I can get less playmaking, more defense. It's like I always say, just do how y'all play. I just play like I play as a center. And I think I can still hold my own against Big Man too, because all this defense is gonna play along helping me in brick wall. I want at least some silver. If I'm gonna have a at least I'm in a weak strength, I want at least silver. At the end of the day, I mean, I'm already, I'm already pushed around anyway. But once you got the defense, you know how to play. When people gonna put their back on you, the big, big centers, you don't need none of that strength like that. You work around that strength. That's not necessary. You don't need none of that. But right now, I'm gonna show my takeovers real quick. I got a sharp shooter. I got playmaking. I got defense rebounds, glass. You know my build can shoot. You get sharp takeovers. You know it can shoot. And then I got playmaking. Most people I get, I make, I, I can't even get playmaking. I thought it's really strange how I got on my center build, but I ain't tripping though. But, well, this build, I want to hit my team more. So, just in case you know, they need me to drop a buck, I can do I can shoot. I can do all of it. I'm like, I'm one of a kind. You know, I got it all. I'm going to check up all trades. So, I thought this build right here go crazy with it. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Then after that, y'all hit continue or finish my bag. I'll be going to take over. Hit finish. My name is a two-way facilitator. I think that's really crazy though because I think I can trick a lot of players I play against because I'm more than just a two-way facilitator. I'm not no playmaker. I can I can slash, I can shoot, I can play, I can play mate, I can do defense. I mean you name it, I can guard it all one through five. I mean the Sims might give me a little run for the money and they little short and little short guards, but I do my third thizzle on them though. And you see my shades uh, you know, Robinson, Aiden, and Joel and B. But I'm gonna show when it's gonna show you seven foot. So you gotta go back to edit and go back out. Go all the way back out. And see so you go back to features. Then go to settings. Then you scroll back down again. And make it Emperor System. Alright, so you go back to uh, my career. Then you go to MP slot again. Go back to the build you just made. And look, it's a seven foot right here. So the privilege out there is a glitch. I got six eleven stats, but it's a seven foot. I'm probably late though, but if I'm wrong, my bad about that. But if I enjoy the video, man, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm out. Thank you.